How's everyone today? Welcome to Commercial Farming by the Dirt Road Farmer. Well, today is going to be a big day. Uh, <laughs> we've got a lot to do today. The first thing we got to do this morning, now it's uh, 5.02 in the morning, uh, and the reason I got up so early is uh, because we do have a lot to do. So the first thing that we're going to do is uh, we've got to sell some cows and uh, then we got to feed cows. So that's what we're going to do. Now we'll get up here where our cattle trailer is at. And the cow barn that gets sold off this month, or the cattle in the cow barn, is number seven. So that's what we're going to do. All right. Shut this off. Let's go get in our truck. And let's hook up to our cattle trailer. All right. Now, our cattle barn that we are going to haul from today is down here on the lower section. And this is Cow Barn 7. We're coming up on right here. All right. All right, if we look from the farm, those $300 calves that we put in there uh, 18 months ago, they have finally matured, and now they are going to sell for $2,307. All right, so we want to click that and select it. We want to load 56 of them, because that's all our trailer will hold. We'll move them to our trailer. All right. And now we can go sell them. And oh yeah, they're in there. Yeah, maybe they're in there, I guarantee you. <laughs> I will look at them. There they are. You can see them. <laughs> Oh yeah. All right, so let's go sell them. Now what I do uh, is whenever I sell these, I'll pick up 56 calves at the same time. That's what I'll do. Let's go down here and get them sold. You guys run a cattle operation on your farm? Leave me a comment. Let me know. If so, are they beef cattle? Or do you have milk cows? You know, just let me know. Alright. Now this pad right here is where we unload. Alright. What do we want to do? That's the animal dealer. This is our trailer, the LS540. 
we got 56 of them in there so we want to click that select it and we want to sell them and now it's saying do you want to sell these animals for $129,220 yes we do okay now at the same time we want to come over here and select this one which is Angus and we're going to buy these calves for 300 apiece there we go and we're going to buy them and it says do you want to buy these uh, 56 animals for 16,800 yes we do okay now we've got 56 full-grown steers sold and we've picked up 56 calves so we'll go back and we'll put these in the animal barn or the cow barn and we'll just keep repeating that Like I said before, uh, this doesn't uh, completely take care of all my expenses, but it sure makes a big, big difference, let me tell you. It, it helps. Alright, so we'll pull in here and we'll unload these calves first. This is what this is what we want we want to select them and we want to move 56 of them to the to the cow barn okay then you come back over here on the farm you want another load of Angus full-grown steers select it move them to the trailer And away we go with another load. So, alright. Well, I'm going to get the rest of these uh, cows sold and, and calves bought and put back in their place. And I'll get back with you here in just a moment. Alright. Well, this is our last load. And there's only 16 on here. And uh, then that, that means, you know, that's all the uh, uh, full-grown steers that we had in here, which will make up for 240 of them. So we'll pull in here and sell those 16. All right. Select that. There's only 16 in the trailer. That's all we had left. We'll sell them. Okay, and then we want to buy new calves. We want to buy 16 of them. All right, and we'll take these 16 back and uh, put them in the barn. Now, uh, before we get started on, on feeding the cattle, uh, we want to get our uh, slurry spreader. And uh, if you've been following me, uh, you know that we cut hay. Uh, it's been two or three videos ago. And uh, so as you know, you don't have to replant grass. Grass grows back, hay grows back, whatever you want to call it. I choose to call it my hay field. Well, it, it continues to grow just like any normal hay field would. So, uh, and whenever 
you do get done, you start off with 50% fertilizer. Right there. Okay. So, uh, alright, we want to move these to the husbandry. Okay, so now we've got them all in there. Alright, now if we want to check the HUD. Uh, let's go down here to animals. And that was cow barn number seven. And as you can see, we've got a bunch of babies in there. Even though we give $300 a piece for them right now, they're only worth $92 a piece. Okay. In 18 months, whenever they reach full puberty and they're completely healthy, 100% healthy, then that's when they're worth uh, $2,307 a piece. So I just wanted you to see that. All right. Anyway, uh, we need to... Uh, get our slurry spreader and go up and put the other 50% of fertilizer on that hay field. And there's been the first growth on it because we just did that last month. There's uh, the first stage of growth. And uh, yeah, we'll be able to uh, put the second stage of fertilizer on it now, whether it be a solid fertilizer or uh, slurry, manure, liquid fertilizer, if you're spraying, whatever you choose to do, you're ready to do it now. Alright, we're going to just hook this truck back up to this trailer because we're going to get back over here and we'll use it real soon. All right, and we'll shut it off. There ain't no sense in it sitting there idling. And let's go get in our tractor with our slurry spreader. All right. Now this slurry spreader isn't exactly full yet. So let's just, let's just fill it up real quick. Now this is another thing that I modded because when it comes to fields this big, uh, yeah. All right. Well, I I, hit, I uh, got up there and I hit the wrong button. Had to get that all straightened out. So yeah, we'll just finish loading this. And we want we want to get as much as we can in here because that's kind of a well I'm not going to say it's a big field but uh, you know it, it's going to take quite a bit of fertilizer and I've not put the slurry on this one before so we'll find out how much it takes so anyway what I was talking about uh, this uh, slurry spreader I modded this uh, tank to hold a million liters so yes I know that's very unrealistic but in order to get done what all we've got to get done in a day's time if it's if it's uh, time for slurry to be spreaded on these fields uh, I've got other things I've got to do besides run back and forth with a tanker trying to fill it up. So, yes. So anyway, I'm going to get this thing filled up and I'll meet you over at the field. Alright, we're getting back up here to where we're going to spread this slurry. And, uh... I guess we can start unloading it or unfolding it. And once again, we're going to try an AI worker because we've got other things to do. 
we've got to get those cattle fed and today is the day when the price comes up where it's supposed to be uh, we're gonna be selling canola so yeah so anyway let's get up here let's see if the AI worker will do it if not I'll set him up on a, on a uh, course and uh, yeah all right now let's see if we can hold on just a moment here let's back up because I didn't get him over quite far enough Now you should go and start spreading. All right. We can get down here where you can see the difference in the land. And he is spreading. Uh, see the darker color there? It's got a sheen to it if you can see that. The sun's not all the way up yet. So you can see the difference in the, the field right there. All right, good deal. Now we just want to make sure that he gets turned around up here and gets started back. And if so, uh, and there's no problems, then we're going to go back and we're going to start feeding our cattle. All right, looks like he's getting turned around now. Looks like he's going to do a good job. Uh, let's bring the HUD back up and yes he's still got 95 percent in there so he'll have plenty to do this whole field good deal uh, all right well let's uh, let's go over and uh, get back in our truck we'll leave this guy let's jump out All right, let's jump out and we will go back over and we'll get back in our truck. All right, let's get back in our truck. And we'll go over here and get a load of silage and I guess we'll fill the silage first doesn't really matter you've got silage hay and straw uh, to put in them so that's what we're feeding silage hay and straw and then a mineral feed all right let's pull up here and this takes quite a while I mean it's a slow fill and this will hold 250 liters so I'll get back with you whenever we get loaded. All right. I just wanted to show you a close-up of the, our silage. This is uh, a corn silage is what it is. Uh, we cut corn and put it in this fermenter. And uh, yes, it's fermented and it is ready to feed. <laughs> But like I said, it takes a long time. It's a slow fill. So, anyway, I will get back with you in just a moment. All right, we're full. And we've got 250,000 liters. This is going to give you some idea of how much it takes to feed all these cows. <laughs> yeah, it's... uh. It's uh, kind of overwhelming in a way if you don't have a whole lot of land, you know, for fields. Uh, if you're, for instance, uh, if you're on a smaller map and your fields are limited, 
Uh, yeah, this uh, gives you some idea of what it's going to take. Huh. I don't know why. Oh, I know. <laughs> I've got the HUD off. All right, we can dump it right here. Well, come on. Yeah, yeah, you're getting it. All right. Now, if you're not familiar uh, with these type of uh, cow barns, They have a robot that comes out. First of all, the robot will go through and it'll get so much silage, so much straw, and so much hay, and they put it in a cart. And that cart will come out all on its own, and it'll go into that cow barn and it will feed the cows. And then it'll put itself away. Now I'm sure that's old news for a lot of you. We've had it ever since, uh, you know, FS22 came out. But just in case you didn't, you know, you're not familiar with it, that's what happens. And we will experience that before we're done feeding here. So it's, uh, it's quite a chore and uh, that's why I wanted to get that guy over there spreading that slurry because we got work to do. Oh, we got a lot of work to do. All right. So anyway, I'm going to get the rest of this uh, uh, silage put in here and uh, when we get done with silage, then we'll get on hay. And we'll put hay in here. Alright, I'm not sure we're going to have enough silage. No, we are not going to have enough silage. So, alright, well, I'll go back and get a little more silage. And <laughs> I'll get right back with you. All right, I only put on 71,000 liters this time. Uh, and I don't think we'll need all of that. Uh, <laughs> but yes, uh, the first trailer load was, what was it, 250,000 liters? Yes. So let's go down here to our last row of cow barns. And we'll finish putting silage in this first one. And let me know, how do you guys feed your cows? Uh, I'd be interested in hearing from you. Do you do something similar to this? Uh, now, you know, I load mine, I, I, I use this truck and a big trailer uh, because I've got so many. If I was if I had a smaller trailer, you know, it would just take entirely too long. So, yes. Let me know how you do yours. I would sure be glad to hear from you. Alright, now what we'll do is we're going to take this back up and we're going to put it in our silo, our hay silo. Uh, and then we'll get some hay. So I'll see you when we get there. All right, here we are. All right, so let's empty this. This is a multi-fruit silo. So it holds everything that we need. 
So let's go over here and find hay or straw, whichever comes first. Silage comes first. Well, we already fed silage. Hay. All right, so we'll take hay. Now this does feed just a little bit faster than the other, uh, the fermenting silos do, but it's still, <laughs> it's still mighty slow. And we're gonna load this to 250,000 liters, uh, just as we did the silage. So I'll get back with you when we get loaded and start emptying. All right, we're loaded with hay. And we'll go down through here and we'll fill all of our bins with hay. Probably ought to turn the, uh, yeah, we'll turn the hood on. It'll tell us when we can dump it. And there we go. And it's boring to sit here and watch me do this, I know. So I'm going to go ahead and put the rest of this hay in. And I'll get back with you when we get on the straw. Alright, well, we got all the hay put in. And now we're starting off with uh, 250,000 liters of straw. So you kind of understand it takes a lot of grain, a lot of straw, uh, you know, to get your cattle fed. So, now I will say it doesn't take as much straw uh, compared to the silage and the hay. Uh, straw is probably the least amount that it takes so but anyway I'm not gonna bore you with putting this all in there uh, I think you <laughs> by now you understand how I do it and like I said before uh, let me know how you do it let me know what your if you have cows let me know what your cattle uh, operation is let me let me know so Anyway, I'm going to go ahead and put this in here, and I'll get back with you in a moment. All right, we got all the straw put in, and we have a little extra left over. So, we didn't need all the 250,000 liters. But this is, a, this is one of the reasons why I uh, put everything up loose, is so that I can go back through. I'm, if I don't use it all, I'll just put it right back in the silo. It'll be usable next time. I don't have to worry about a bunch of bales. and. But, you know, that's just my way of doing things. All right, now we've got our silage, our hay, and our straw in there. Now, what's next is uh, mineral feed. We have to put mineral feed in there so our robots will run. And mineral feed is good for your cows also. Now it doesn't take a whole lot. Uh, when I originally put all these cow barns down, I made sure all the mineral feed silos were full. And, uh, you know, I mean, every month now it just... Uh, I just top them off so we don't have to have a whole lot of it but we do have to have some so I'll put about 75,000 liters on here and we'll let it go at that all right and the way you put the mineral feed in is I come over here All right. Let's 
there we are. And it'll dump, it'll put in until the silo is full, which, like I said, it don't take much. But uh, yeah. So anyway, uh, I know you don't want to watch me go down through here and put all this in, and it is. It's it's kind of a pain. It's a little bit time consuming. It'll take an hour, hour and a half with this many cattle. It'll take an hour and a half to two hours to deal with feeding them. Uh, but it does help with all your other expenses. It really does. So, anyway, I'm going to put all this in there, and I'll get right back with you. All right. Well, now that our cows are completely fed... <coughs> excuse me. Sorry. Uh, we're done here. All right. Let's go check on our... Uh, guy that's spreading sl uh, slurry and let's see how far along he is Like I said, this farm is huge. Uh, it just takes forever to get from one place to the other. But, I don't have any trees to deal with. <laughs> yeah, I know. Uh, the map isn't perfect. I would like to see trees at least around the outside of the map. Uh, but, you know, that's the way it goes. Alright, let's see. Now, I don't see him. But I would say he's probably done. And that's, uh, you got to wait for the first uh, growth stage in order to make this work. If you don't wait till the first growth stage, uh, you just put that fertilizer down for nothing. So we'll get down here, we'll see where he's at. But I'm quite sure that he should be done. Well, where yet? I don't see him. Alright, well, he's, <laughs> yeah, we'll see. What did he do, run out? Or is he on his last pass? Yeah, it looks like he's on his last pass. Alright, good deal. Now let's jump out here and let's, let's see exactly what he's done. Alright, if we get on the field now, we can see that we've got 100% fertilizer. Good deal. Alright. Well, another thing that we need to do today, uh, he'll just quit up there. He'll, he'll put a stop to it. He'll fold it all up and wait for me to come up there and move it but there's another thing that we need to do today and we might as well just check the HUD right now okay we have to wait for it to save that's kind of normal all right canola we've got 50 million liters that we're gonna have to haul sometime this month all right and it looks like, let's, let's go up there. See, we're in, let's see, what is it? Are we in November or December? Huh. They have moved it on us. Next month is when it's going to be its... Huh. 
they have changed it on us. Boy. All right. So we're going to have to wait till next month. But we could start hauling today. You know, that's a pretty good price. Uh, feeding grain south, $2.81. Yeah, that looks like a pretty good price. So let's go down and get them started. And uh, yeah. Need to make some money. May want to buy another field or two. I don't know. They're high. But anyway, I'll get back with you whenever we get down here. And uh, we're going to get our trucks set up on auto drive. And we're going to tell them to go to it and start selling for us. Okay, I've got all three of my trucks out here on the road ready to all this grain. So now we're going to get up here and we're going to program them in and tell them what to do. Alright, so we want them to pick up uh, at the farm silo and we want them to take this down to uh, the grain mill I think is what it's called. Yes, grain mill. And they're going to be hauling canola. So let's tell this, this guy to go. And we'll jump out. Now they're just going to go right up the road there to the where they're going to load. And while they're doing that, we'll get this guy programmed in. Alright, we want him to pick up at the farm silo. Unload it the grain mill. He's going to be hauling canola. So we'll give that guy just a little bit of time to get loaded and we'll start this guy. him go we'll jump out of him and let's go back here and get this guy going all right loaded the grain mill or uh, farm silo we want him to take that to uh, the grain mill And we want him to, no, we don't want him to, yeah, the farm silo, but we want him to haul canola. Canola. All right, we'll tell him to go. All right. He'll pull in there and he'll get loaded. And while he's getting loaded, why don't we follow this truck? We'll ride with him. And we got three trucks running. All three of them. Uh, the trailers hold 300,000 liters apiece. So... when you have 50 million liters of grain that you've got to haul and sell. <laughs> yeah. All right. I got a notification up there that our worker up there in the field finished his job. So that's, that's a good thing. Now we're not driving this truck whatsoever. 
We're not driving at all. We're just riding. Our guy is down there. Our first guy is down there emptying his load. And this guy will wait, or let's put it this way, <laughs> he is supposed to wait <clears throat> until his turn. All right. So now we can jump out. And we'll just sit over here and watch them for a minute. Takes a while to empty out 300,000 liters. And let's see, what did we get out of that? 600 and... Well, I don't know what we got out of it, to be honest about it. We'll jump back in this truck so I can get a uh, You see a young lady in there? Yeah, I'm not going to jump in a truck. She knows what she's doing. But anyway, I think we're getting somewhere around 600 and $29,000 per truckload. That's not bad. And they've got a lot of hauling to do. All right. Yep, I'll get with you when this second truck gets in there. All right, this is our second truck. Like I said, that's 300,000 liters is a lot of grain. All right. When he gets empty, he'll go back after another load. And it'll just, they'll just continue like that until they, number one, either run out of grain or, uh, all right, so that was $624,575 for that load of grain. So, yes, we're going to have a pretty good payday. All right, well, we'll stay with this guy until he gets back up here to the silo, see if he has to wait on the next guy or the guy ahead of him. I think unloading takes a little longer than loading, I think. But, uh, yeah. But we'll find out. So let me know. Uh, leave me a comment down there. What do you guys do? Uh, do you hold your grain uh, and sell it? when the price is right or or what do you do let me know uh, do you sell it as you harvest it uh, because you know I can come down here and show you again I, I probably should have uh, showed you a little better last time of course we gotta wait for it to save Okay, if we go down here, like right now, uh, we're selling at the grain mill for 280 
$2,082 a liter. Well, we can go up here and this tells you what it will be later in the month of December. So sometimes this ain't all together right. I'm just, I'm just saying. It changed prices on me real quick. So, but anyway, that's what I do. All right, well, it looks like he got loaded and he's on his way back again with another load. So, uh, we'll get back with you whenever they get just a little farther along, get some of this grain sold. All right. Well, these guys are still hauling, and uh, yes, we've hauled quite a bit. <laughs> Let's go check. Uh, yeah, we've hauled 20, 20 million liters, and the price just keeps going up. So, yeah, that's, that's awesome. So, anyway, uh, I know this uh, video is probably going to be long uh, because of feeding the cattle and everything. Uh, it's just, I knew it was going to be a busy day on the farm. And these guys are going to run quite a bit longer. It'll take them pretty well all day to get this all hauled, I'm sure. I may have to haul a little bit tomorrow. So, anyway, uh, there's our canola going in. Anyway, uh, I think we're going to call it a day. Uh, if you've liked this content, please go down there and give me a like. I'd sure appreciate it. Uh, subscribing is free. If you hit that subscribe button, it's free. Doesn't mean nothing. If you uh, hit the bell, ring the bell, that just means you're going to get a notification every time I post a video. That's all that means. But uh, I think we will call it a video let these guys continue to haul because it's awful boring just sitting here watching them haul grain and uh, as for me the dirt road farmer thank you for watching <laughs>